scientists. Hey, Jen. <laughs> Hi, friends. It's nice to see you. How are you doing? You stuck at home? You ready for a science class? All right, well, we're here to talk about insects. Now, insects are a type of animal called an arthropod. Can you say arthropod? Arthropod. <laughs> I love that, thanks. Right, arthropod. And there's lots of different types of arthropods. Today, we're just talking about insects. We know it's an insect because it has six legs and three body parts. We're gonna talk about that, are you ready? Now, when we draw up insects, we have a body part song. Are you ready for this? It goes, head, thorax, abdomen. <laughs> Do you like that? Do you wanna try it with me? Yeah. Okay, here it goes. Head, thorax, abdomen. <laughs> Good job. We love singing that song. Now, this doesn't look like an insect. This looks more like a snowman right now. Yeah. There's some parts missing. Now, uh, insects have, how many legs do insects have? Six. Six legs. You got it. All right, let's count them up. Here we go. One, two, three, oh. four, five, Six. That looks awesome. <laughs> Thanks. You're awesome. All right, so here we have our legs. Now on the head, we're missing some parts. Do you remember what we need on our head? We need our eyes. Ears. Oh, you know what's interesting about insect ears? Insect ears are on the thorax, the middle part. I know, it's really weird. Some of them are on their legs, some are on their wings, and some are even right on their chest. My favorite fly has their ears on their chest. It's fascinating. So we're not putting ears on this one. But they do have antenna. Antenna are amazing. I wish I had antenna. Do you have antenna? Mm -hmm, looks like it. Butterflies do. Mm-hmm. Well, all insects do. When I pretend I have antenna, I don't do it like this. I do it more like this. If you try that, you can see that you can feel the direction your finger's moving. And that's more how an antenna works for the feeling part. They can also hear and smell and taste and probably do other things that we don't understand. That gives me a clue. Fascinating. Because there's ears on... Oh, the ears on the antenna we're pointing out. Thank you very much. So here we have our eyes, antenna, and mouth. I'm just going to draw a happy mouth on this one because it's a little simpler. We can add beetle wings to this too, but we got the wrong side for that. Should we sing the body part song again? All right, it goes, head, thorax, abdomen. Good job, that's right. We can talk more about the body parts, more about the head, more about the thorax, and more about the abdomen in other lessons. I'll give you a sneak peek to that song. Are you listening? Listen now. The head has eyes, antenna, mouth. The thorax has the locomotion. The abdomen's got a lot going on from family to indigestion. <laughs> it's funny. Do you know what indigestion is? Indigestion's not funny. It's when you have a stomach ache, but that always happens in your abdomen. So that's why I put it in the song. Anyway, we'll talk more about that another time. For now, I'm going to include a, a printable of this in the link uh, in the comments below, and you'll be able to print that out and color it in. There's going to be one problem, though. That there's no food on that coloring sheet, and so you're going to have to add some food for the insect that we put on there. Maybe a sunny day or rain or something like that as well. All right, friends. Thanks for being with us for a little tiny science time. We'll see you next time.